On my last video about the dog, which got a very popular success, I asked you to create a board featuring the dog, that I would play on this video. So I received some original propositions, maybe two original sometimes, but one more time, this is a board made by which got my attention. So the board looks like this, and features few pieces like the knight, the short rook, the dog pawn, and of course the dog. I have to say that I really got a hard time trying to beat the computer as his board is the most difficult board I ever played on this channel, but after some analysis, you'll be able to see how I managed my strategy to try and win. So, let me explain how this board works. So if you have watched my last video about the dog and I hope you did, the dog moves and attacks one square orthogonally, and the knight moves and attacks by jumping, like a knight I guess. The short rook moves and attacks like a rook, but range 4, and finally the dog pawn moves and attacks one square up and down, and I didn't precise but there's of course a king. If you manage to put a dog or a knight on a promotion tile, they will promote to some cool pieces which are not quite stronger but cooler, but somehow, the dog pawn don't promote. But anyway, I don't care. The dog can promote to a dog pack which is a dog but range 2, and also like the knight promote to a dog hybrid which is a knight plus a dog. So yeah, this board is very slow apparently due to these small pieces, but in fact, this so tricky that every move can be your doom. The corners of the board are really weak places where the knight can promote easily, but the center of the board is really a mess after some opening. You'll have to take good places with your knights to occupy the space and help your pawn to advance, and you'll have also to defend accurately with your dogs. And at some point, you'll have to develop your rook which can lead to real carnage. So with all these informations, I think we can now start the game. This game opposes the chesscraft grandmaster Popol Morphy against the annoying dog Loren. Let's begin. D4. F5. G4. Knight to F6. Very aggressive, let's defend the pawn. H5. Ok so these two pawns completely block my center, so I guess knight to g2. Dog to h6. I now can play h4. Short rook to h7. Let's consolidate our structure. c5. I will grab some space on the king side. i4. j5. Ok, let's bring the second knight into the battle. Dog pawn takes h4. I'll recapture with my dog. j6. Yes. I will now connect my dogs to get a stronger defense. e5. Dog 2 to h3. Dog to e6. Perfect. I will now set a trap to get a knight promotion, let's see if he sees it. Nope. He didn't see it, so here we go knight to k4, and as you see, he can't do anything against the double threat of promotion and taking his pawn. j4, nice try but I'll capture with my dog pawn. Short rook to i7, here I come. Knight to j6 promoting to an hybrid. Knight to h7, nice defense. Hybrid back to k4. g5. This does nothing, so I guess I'll attack the center. f4. Dog pawn takes g4. I'll recapture with my dog. Dog to f6. Let's reinforce my structure. Knight to g6, some counterplay. Perhaps I should distract him to avoid any counter attack. Dog pawn takes f4. Let's connect the dogs. Dog pawn takes d5. Short Rook recaptures. C6. Let's continue to play aggressively to avoid any counterplay. Dog Pawn takes E4. Dog recaptures. Dog F to F7. Man, his structure is so strong, we are clearly about to get some hard play. So let's first build a strong structure with my dogs. Dog 2 to E3. Dog to E8. 
Dog to f2. Dog e to e7. Seems like he doesn't have any move, perfect. Dog f to f3. Dog to e8. Dog f to f4. Dog e to e7. Ok here we go. Dog to g5. Knight to f8. Dog h to h5. Dog captures, dog recaptures. Dog g to g6. Let's reconnect. Dog f to g7. I feel this is going to get complicated to win, as he defends really well and as my position is completely open. But hey, let's continue to attack and perhaps something will finally work. Wait a moment my child. Oh, the French fairy of chess. So you are not in big trouble. Yeah, in fact it seems like I'm winning actually, but this is not quite easy to deal with black's defense, but I'm sure I will find something to beat him. This sounds cool huh? This is really bad. If you don't have any problem, what is my purpose on this video? Oh, I see. But you know, I've been in big trouble when I was trying this board before making the video, so where were you on this time? Oh, I got a go. LMAO, see you French fairy of chess. Ok back to the game, this is time to go for a final blast I hope. This is absolutely not the moment to blunder anything. Dog to e5. Dog captures, short rook recaptures. Dog e to e6. Nice defense, but I'll go short rook to d5. Dog g to f7. Dog e to e4. King to g7, why not? Dog to e5. King to h8, ok so he's out of moves. Let's add some pressure. Dog takes f5, dog recaptures. Dog f to f5. Ok, I may have a chance to disconnect his dogs if he retakes with the knight to thread my short rook. Ugh. Anyway, short rook to d6. Ok a mistake I guess, let's capture this pawn. King to g8. Ok, so my knight and my hybrid are doing absolutely nothing. So here we go with knight to f4. Dog f to g7. Maybe, I will challenge his knight to force an exchange, and then use my hybrid to play very aggressively as his other knight and his short rook are completely stuck. Let's see how he would reply. Oh he crashed, so this is for me a form of resign. Phew, finally a win. So, I guess, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in my Abracadabra. next...